At Divert, we provide a holistic solution to wasted food for our customers. We prevent wasted food at the source, we provide surplus edible food to folks in need, and then whenever it can't be utilized through another outlet, we process that food into power through anaerobic digestion. We are in an amazing position based on our connection and partnership with food retailers to generate and deliver carbon negative renewable natural gas. When we aggregate unsold food from 5,000 grocery stores, it is a massive amount of material. And so the question becomes, what do you do with this product now? The solution that we have perfected over the last 15 years is anaerobic digestion. In the first part of our process, we separate out the organic material from the plastic and the other things that we don't want in the digester. And we end up with an organic slurry. Then within the digester, the organic material breaks down into biogas. You have essentially microbes that are eating that material and emitting carbon dioxide and methane. We will then take that methane and we'll send it into the pipeline as renewable natural gas. The infrastructure already exists to take natural gas and deploy it to people like you and me. It's a direct replacement for natural gas that's derived from petroleum-derived sources. We're closing the loop on something that should be so fundamental to the infrastructure package of a country. It should just be common sense to take organic materials and recover value from them. The life cycle analysis that we do to understand what is the energy it takes for an employee to drive to our facility, moving that unsold food to pull it back out of the supply chain and bring it to our facilities, processing all of these things. What is the backstream impact of any residuals that we produce? All of that goes into our accounting practice. When you look at that carbon ledger, we have a negative carbon process. We are reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, and it's all driven by understanding that we can produce a carbon negative fuel.